Celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, it means remembering his dream. His address at the 1963 March on Washington introduced the nation to that dream. The march was a critical event for the civil rights movement, but why? Our Why Guy explains. The voices were louder, the audience larger. On August 28, 1963, a quarter million people gathered for an event that would take the American civil rights movement to a new level. When you have the march and the galvanizing around it, no one in America could deny that this movement was happening. The March on Washington culminated with Dr. Martin Luther King's famous words, I have a dream. As we celebrate the legacy of Dr. King, let's look at why the March on Washington was such an important moment in the civil rights movement. I have a dream. Civil rights leaders were riding the momentum of efforts like the Montgomery bus boycott. They needed an event that would take the movement nationwide. The March on Washington promoted the fight for racial and economic equality. They're asking for a minimum wage. They're asking for things that will not only benefit African Americans, but all Americans. The march involved a diverse crowd. There were religious leaders and labor leaders. You had singers, you had entertainers. And you had Dr. King's dream. He goes from speech giver to the preacher that he was. The country realized this is not going away. We need to create change. This does serve as a catalyst and it's a turn for the movement. Soon after the march, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act, then the Voting Rights Act, both important elements in Dr. King's dream. All right, if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our why guy, you can send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or you can email it to us. There you have them.